It is our most favorite company. Need something? You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? I'm always at your service. You're a bad influence on me. If you're looking for a challenge, you've... A few drinks, a few laughs. Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Let's do this. Your turn. Oh, I don't feel so good. One down, my friend. Let's one down. Cool. And another one for me. Oh no. Here we go. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. If you do not mind me asking. Wow, you've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Yes, your head hurts, and you don't remember Mine's, where you are. I repent of my I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently life. about marriage I'm or a goat. Oblivion for this. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Uh, Debella teaches terrible. love and compassion. But that doesn't mean we're just going to tell you what you want to know and let you walk away from this. Pick up your mess, yeah, then apologize. And if we think you're sincere, we'll consider lending you aid. My friend, is your head screaming at you? Mine is screaming at me. Ow. What was I drinking last night? Ugh. Oh, fucking hell, my head is killing. What did Sam do to us? Oh, well, I'm not picking up any of this shit. How are you feeling? That was quite a night, I think. Me too. It feels like a dragon relieved himself in my head. This is why I do not usually drink heavily. I wonder what came over me. Did I ever? The last thing I recall is you saying, Go on, you are still blue. Drink more. Then there was a lot of running in the dark and laughing. Beyond that, I only remember fragments. A short steed? Feathers? Nothing more. I fear there is a high probability we embarrassed ourselves. <sighs> My head is thumping. Let us go discover the damage. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness, after all. Even for a drunk like you. You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. Why is there fur in my mouth? What the 
bloody hell did we do here? The only thing I remember is about having a dream I was kissing some hairy wench. I'm sorry, love. Don't, don't be upset. It was just a stupid dream. Well, here I am. Roguishly handsome and at your service. What do you need? Speak to me. My head is pounding. This Sam fellow has a lot to answer for. I'm thinking I am sorry I shot you in the head. It is a good thing you have a hard skull. Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. This is where you ladies get together for a gossip, right? If you would rather I wait outside, just to let me know. I love you, little saber cat. You! You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Is that so? Ooh, Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The star beauty of my peace. farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? Right you better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. You really don't remember stealing a goat and selling her to a giant? Are you thick? Go get her! At least she's bound to follow you back. You smell just like the fermented feed she likes. Until next time. Oh, that wasn't a dream, was it? Oh, God, I actually made out with a fucking goat. Oh, God, oh, fucking son of a... This explains the fucking fur in my... M oh, my... What the hell was in those drinks? I am here for you. I think I may have killed a lot of chickens during our drunken night out. If you see any disgruntled farmers looking my way, act casual. I'm thinking it's a gorgeous morning. No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. I remember a little more now. You said, hey Inigo, I bet you that goat would make a lovely steed. That explains the sore tail. <sighs> You know, we should really head back home soon and check on the kids. What a big bad kitty! <laughs> you are it. dead! Inigo, do you think we ought to- I'll make sure they regret it. <laughs> no die, and the pain will end. We bloody did it! Come on, Gleda. I am sorry for my actions the last time we met. I now understand you are not a short horse. My apologies.
Come on, Gleda. Desperate for a piss. Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in Whiterun, they might know me. Gladder! I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day! I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. You said a whole lot of nonsense about selling Gleda to hire a priestess for some big event. There was a bit of talk about some staff you had in safekeeping. Never said where, but you sure didn't have it with you. God, can we just move on and pretend none of this happened? Fuck me. Speak to me. I'm thinking it is a beautiful day. All set? If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. <laughs> Hold up a minute, Anita. Adjust my armor. <sighs> it's hot to die. Things are hanging a bit low. Oh, bit of a oh, oh, chafing going on down there. Oh, I, I, oh it's better. Oh, me nuts. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining. Shiny trinkets Fresh baked for loaves. your good still warm So, you're oven. finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even, as long as you bring back the wedding ring? That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You it's said you'd have all the most interesting sale. guests. Right you went right out to give it to your fiance. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. Farewell. Witchmist Grove does not ring any bells. I wonder who this person you wooed so quickly is. Uh, and All if they had a sister. Oh no. You were gonna marry some strange woman. I'm not happy about this, you know. Even if you were drunk, there is no excuse for this. You know what? Let's just move on. I can't fucking believe this is happening. Darling, I've been waiting for you to return, to consummate our love. What? 
You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Whoa, tender. Easy, now. <gasps> Easy. Gods, you were drunk. You can do better, my friend. Yes, darling. I love you, little saber cats. I am thinking, what were we thinking? And what were we drinking? Despite inexplicably becoming a drunken mess at some point, I still seem to have all my fur. At least there is that. What's next? <laughs> I think it is safe to say you had a little more to drink than me. It's a fine day with you around. Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Farewell. So, we are heading to Morvenskar? I hope the Trail of Destruction, <clears throat> I mean, frivolity, ends there. Shiny trinkets for your good. I see now. I'm sorry, love. I overreacted. I, I, I shouldn't have doubted you. I love you. And it's good to know you're still mine. They drink all day and night. Oh, this place doesn't look right. Just what is Sam up to in there? Yes. We use magic, not weapons. I swear, they're making me do this for a laugh. At least I'm not dealing with the prisoners down below. You wanted yeah. to get married here? What were we drinking? Sanity repellent? I Naris gets a kick out of it. Nasty fella he is. You'd better quiet down before you end up there. Then I'd have to work. This sounds dangerous, and you know I don't know shit about magic. What experiments are making these mages hide from the world? You want to talk? I am thinking that one of us should try to remain sober at all times from now on. No, my mind is a sky without birds at the moment. I'm sorry. Oh, well, this place is magical, isn't it?
This place is nice. Smells a bit squiffy, though. <sighs> You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. Hmm? I am Sanguine, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. I know, I know. How could I lie to you? Well, how could I trust you until we've shared a few drinks? But it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff than this waste of flesh. Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through, but you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. It is our Come most in. favorite company. Warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. We survived a drunken night with a Daedric prince. Wow! We know how to have a good time, my friend. Uh, or so the evidence suggests. Yes, it was certainly interesting. Still, I think I may lay off the drink for a while. Until I regain uh, the trust of my liver anyway. I was getting thirsty. How much do you drink a day, if you this do not mind me asking? One of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Hello, love. Oh, there once was a hero named Merriment Ragnar. my arse, this is one of the worst nights I've ever had. I should have known this was the work of a Daedric Prince. We should have seen this coming. Do me a favor, love. Don't get into any more drinking contests, all right? I couldn't bear the thought of you falling for another. And I definitely do not want to see another fucking goat up close ever again. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. <laughs> 